Sometimes I just want to get away From everything that's in my day Hello everybody! So I thought that I would come today to do a quick little vlog on something that um, is very um, interesting. Or it's been interesting for me anyway. Um, and that is online dating. Yeah. That happens. So online dating is great for people who are otherwise busy. Um, don't really like going to clubs. Um, I was going to grad school and I was working and I was interning and I just didn't have time. I did not have time to like meet people. So I thought, oh, okay, let's try this out. Now, I did try a couple of different kinds. I did paid and unpaid. Um, and I got this. The only difference that I really saw between paid and unpaid, and there's a little bit of a better caliber of people, a smidgen better. Um, but for the most part, um, it still sucked. <laughs> Let me just say, I did not know that we had such a huge illiteracy problem until I started this on that online dating thing. Um, and I'm not a grammar Nazi. I'm not a grammar Nazi. I'm not one of these people who if you use ITS and not IT apostrophe S and I'm like, oh, he's a dumbass. Like, I'm not that person. But if I'm reading your profile and I don't know what it is you're trying to tell me and I have to read it three or four times before I get whatever your message is, Google is your friend. Like, I don't understand how you can live your life and not be able to com make complete sentences. It's just like, what? And it's just, it's amazing the things that, one, the pictures that some of these people put up. And I was going to like do a thing where I was going to read people's, pro some of the profiles that I've gotten like messages from. But I thought, no, that's kind of rude. I'm not going to do that. But I will talk about some of the things that I have encountered while on some of these sites. There was a guy who was white, but tight with a Jamaican accent. I don't know what that was about, like, you want go, like, I'm like, what? So when I asked him, uh, cause he, maybe he, maybe he lived in Jamaica, I don't know. So I asked him, no, and then he asked me why I was asking him that. And it's like, dude, what? Um, I had a guy who told me he lived in one place, then when we got ready to meet, he's like, oh no, I live here. And I was like, it's not what you said. It's not what you said. I think that a lot of people who, who may not necessarily come up to you, like in real life, um, feel uh, a little more confident, uh, as it were, on, on these dating sites. And so you'll get these people, and I'm not, not to sound snobby, or conceited, I guess would be the best. I'm not trying to be conceited, but it's like, sometimes it's like, did you even read my profile? Cause you know, we don't seem all that greatly matched. And I'm honest on my profile, you know? I tell people, you know, if you have gold teeth, don't message me. If you're a rapper, don't message me. If you're a producer, don't message me. If you have tattoos on your neck, or your face, don't message me. And the reason, and I, I guess, I have four tattoos. I'm not being hypocritical. My tattoos are real hidden when I get ready to go to work. Because I have a job. Um, I always plan to have a job. And so when I was getting the tattoos, I thought to myself, where will I need to get these placed so that I can get a job and it not negatively impact my career search? Face never came up. Never was an idea that I had. And it's like the very people that I listed off to not send me messages are the ones that send me Because they don't read the cut. They don't read your profile. Um, and I know lots of people have great luck um, with these, these sites. A lot of people um, meet their soulmate on these sites. And that's wonderful. And, and good for them. Um, I'm almost positive that's not going to be the way that I meet my future husband um, but it's been fun to try and you know I will say that I have read some pretty hilarious things there was a guy that said um, he only has free time 
during the day because he works in construction and he does most of his work at night. What? How oh, are you a construct? Like, I know that sometimes road workers uh, work at night because they're less traffic and it's a little less intrusive for people. I don't ever really see anybody building buildings or building homes at night. So I don't really know how true that was. There was a guy who um, took public restroom selfies. So I sent him a message because sometimes, for my own enjoyment, I will send people messages and just question some of the ridiculous things on their profiles. Like, why are you taking shirtless bathroom selfies? And has anybody ever walked in on me? I asked him that. He was like, yeah, but they were they were in a gym restroom, but it's still like you in there with your shirt off, like flexing in the mirror, taking selfies. It's like that's sus. Be weird for the people that like come in. Yeah, maybe. I say all that to say, um, you know, online dating has a purpose. It serves a very good purpose, and in theory, it can be kind of awesome. In practice. Man, any men that watch this, please let somebody proofread your profile because we notice. And I mean, again, it, you don't even have to be a grammar Nazi to notice some of this stuff. Some of it is just unreadable, and it's like, what were they trying to say? There's missing words and misspelled words, and then there are people who try to be deep, and it's like, be careful. There are crazy people. Catfishing is real. Um, some of the people that I know that have um, that are on. Um, that have profiles online have caught people like using they'll use like lesser known celebrity people like or lesser like but I don't follow bodybuilders so if you were to put a fake profile up using some pictures from somebody I wouldn't know because I don't follow them so doing stuff like that so catfishing is real I don't know why people do that but it's real so if you are online dating be very careful be very mindful that there's a lot of loons out here so, um, yeah, and I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, single gals. I will see you later. Bye.